Mr. Speaker, last night the Senate voted in favour of Bill C-36, the Canadian Consumer Product Safety Bill. you are going to allow to be passed that removes the rule of law, that allows the state to interfere with you or your property without court supervision, is something that should not be allowed. Because then you've set a precedent and you've opened the door for the state to start acting and interfering with your fundamental freedoms without court supervision, without the rule of law. And I mean, even if we were in an emergency war situation, we should be, you know, jealously guarding those fundamental freedoms that revolutions have been fought over. It is absolutely mind-boggling how a government can argue that it makes us safe to remove the rule of law. Because if you think it through, the rule of law is there to protect us from the state. And yet the state is passing legislation which seems more geared to protect the state against us than from us from safety concerns. And I think part of the problem with Canadians is this has been a tremendously free country. This has been a wonderful place to live where we have lots of liberties. You know, since 1982 there's been court decision after court decision about the Charter and it's not even on our radar that the government may be trying to pass legislation that violates our rights, that takes our rights away, that moves away from the rule of law. And we cannot sit still and allow that to happen. Because we set the precedent, even if the government doesn't do anything unreasonable with it for a long period of time, we've set the precedent. And it is too dangerous of a precedent for us allowed to be set. Yeah. So uh, any so consumer uh, product, this coffee, like you know you go and you buy oh a tea bag, God. that's so a this consumer is, product. This is bigger than, this is bigger than I thought then. Yeah, so, like I said, you start a business out of your home selling things on eBay. Beaded necklaces, And then all of a sudden bracelets. they can come seize it. They can come seize it. Could it be possible for uh, this Bill C-36, do you think it's possible that it was uh, passed in Parliament to ha give Health Canada the power to remove any consumer product that may better humanity? Do you think that's what it might be for? Absolutely. Absolutely. And in freedoms, right? Like big pharma, all the corporations, they don't like competition. No. Rockefeller said, competition's a sin, right? Yeah. So that's money out of their pockets. So yes, it doesn't apply to health foods. But if you look, I just saw a thing from Kevin Miller. He got an email uh, saying that they were changing all the licensing rules for health products as of March 1st, 2011. 
they're changing it they're so changing it's more it. harsh so it's harder to get not it's harder to get it though. it's harder to get it licensed and it's going to fall more into the regulations of c36 basically uh, gives health canada complete power complete power over the police and no and oversight the i really see it as a move towards north american union because all at the same time in the state you had what was it uh 510, their version of C36, trying to pass at the exact same time. And it was almost an identical bill. It failed, but they've snuck it into another bill now and it's passed. Ours so, is passed. So they now, passed one in the States, and now ours is passed. Yep. And now they're saying, oh, we're going to announce the uh, North American perimeter. With all these new uh, protection and uh, border re regulations and yada yada, well, I guarantee you, like, I don't have any facts saying it, but that's what these bills are. You think, so fit into that. You think, so. what do you think uh, the people should be doing right now? Seriously, what, since this law has passed, it's effective right now. They have the power to come into your house right now and seize anything. If you're a business owner selling natural health products or trying to sell milk or trying to sell your own eggs, they can come and take this and say, F you, we're taking this, you can't do nothing about it. Just wake up people and try to, is there any way that we, like, Parliament has the power to take away a law, right? Of course it does. Of course, uh, if the, enough people want it out, get together and band together and say, we don't so want Right this. now we need more rallies and we need more awareness and then once there's enough awareness and real people that want to make a change, that's when we decide how to take it out of Parliament. Absolutely. Sweet.